Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to give a big thanks to everyone that has been following recently, watching the videos. If you've subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, downloaded the tabs, any of that, it's amazing because we've just hit 500 subscribers. So I want to try and build up to the thousand. Um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified about more videos. And today we're going to have another top five video. So I think I did my top five blues rock guitar licks and my top five video game themes, which I'm going to do another one of those because five is just too little to, uh, to squeeze everything in. And I've had a lot of people asking about that one. Also, I'm going to be doing some more reaction videos soon. Uh, once I get a few more requests in, I will go through them um, and try and do them as I go. But at the moment, I can only do one video at a time each week. Um, so yeah, this is the next one. So this is going to be my top five easy guitar riffs to play. Um, now, I think most of them are easy enough. Maybe not complete beginner beginner. Um, but if you've been playing guitar for a little while and you, you feel like you can learn some riffs just by reading the tabs and watching some videos, then you should be able to keep up with all of these. So I'm going to be showing a close-up of me playing each of these riffs and the tab's going to run alongside it so you can follow along. And without further ado, let's get into our first lick. This is My Iron Lung by Radiohead. Radiohead are one of my all-time favourite bands. Um, they took me a while to get into. I never used to like them and then they just clicked one day. Um, and I've loved them for years now. But yeah, this is one of their early-ish songs. Um, I'm sure most of you will know it, but it's an excellent guitar riff. I might actually use this riff as the basis for a video on some theory talks at some point because there's something very interesting that Radiohead do a lot going on in the chord progression. I'm looking at my guitar in the corner of my eye because I'm trying to visualize it now. Um, but yeah, they like to take the fourth chord as a major and then turn it to a minor before resolve into the one. So yeah, that's something that we can talk about in a theory video, because yeah, this is probably not, uh, it's probably a bit too heavy theory for some more beginner players. So next up we have Rebel Rebel by David Bowie and this is a great riff. Um, it's one of those riffs that even if you don't know his music very well, which to be honest I don't, um, I'm probably saying his name wrong as well, uh, but yeah it's one of those riffs that you'll hear and you'll probably know it even if you don't know it's David Bowie. <laughs> Okay, so our third guitar riff is Lithium by Nirvana. This is one of the first riffs I ever learned, and I actually performed this as one of the first gigs. Actually, it was the very first gig I played. I played this song um, in a, it was called School of Rock, I think, uh, where we had lots of people that we used to go to a music school together. Um, it was like a Saturday morning school called Rock School where you'd have guitarists turning up and, and bass players, drummers, vocalists, and you'd all get together as a band at the end to play the song that you'd learnt that day. Uh, and anyway, they did this thing, Three Days of Rock, where you would join your bands and you would go there to rehearse for three days and play a gig at the end. And this is one of the songs that we did. Um, there's also some other great riffs in that set list we did. We picked some good songs. Yeah, we had some good music taste. Uh, but yeah, Lithium by Nirvana, amazing riff. It's maybe not one of the ones that you would hear, you know, with your come as you are and smells like teen spirit. This one kind of gets lost sometimes, but um, it's on their most successful album ever. So you'll know the song. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, the fourth riff that we're going to do um, is a chord based riff, um, which I think is the first one out of the lot. Uh, maybe maybe my iron lung is kind of like that. But uh, this is one that I'm teaching loads recently, mainly because of the guitar solo. And again, I might do a video on that guitar solo at some point because it's excellent. But it's You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC and it's the chorus section. <laughs> Okay, so I saved this one to last because it's probably the easiest one to do um, and it's there's not much to it, but it is one of my favorite things when I pick up a guitar and play to check the tone on an amp or something and it's nice clean tone. I always play this, but it's literally very, very simple. Um, and I had to get some John Mayer on the list. Uh, so this is Vultures by John Mayer. Thanks so much for watching all those videos guys i really hope you enjoyed it this might be something that i do more of um, i might do some pop riffs or my favorite funk riffs metal riffs um yeah it might become a bit of a series later on but yeah i really enjoyed doing that the tabs are all going to be available in the description below i think hopefully if i forget please let me know in the comments and i'll, I'll throw them up um, but yeah, yeah, the, the, these videos have been really fun to do the last few weeks. Sorry I didn't do one last week. Um, I think that's the only one I've missed out since I started up again. Uh, but my amp was in repair. Um, so yeah, I finally got it back and it's sounding great. So all the reverb that you're hearing today is actually from the, the reverb on the amp. Um, and they're fresh new valves as well. So it should sound good. But yeah, please, uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button um, and the bell icon. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next week for another video.